All right, no one wants a tax hike, but it could be happening for property owners in Greensboro. The proposed budget would raise taxes four cents for every $100 of property value. Council members and the mayor say it is too much, so they are getting creative to fill the gap. Fox 8 Sarah Winkleman joins us now live in downtown Greensboro with a look at some of the options on the table, including reevaluating a pricey pilot program. That's right, Katie. Well, it's called the hopper, and what it is is a trolley that's going to go up and down here along Elm Street for free, taking people around downtown. Now, it's going to all start up next month. The city already approved $1 million in ARPA funds to get this project up and running and sustaining for the first six months. But after that first six months, it's going to cost the city some more money, upwards of a $1 million. I think is way too expensive. I think it's a vanity project. Inside a business on Knox Road in McLeansville, crews are working to convert eight buses into trolleys. They would run every few minutes on Elm Street, starting at Fisher Avenue, going south past Westgate City Boulevard, running Thursday through Sunday for about 12 hours a day. There's money right there that we could greatly scale down that pilot project to make it look like what it was originally proposed. Some business owners along Elm Street hope the trolleys bring positive change. I find it really fun to walk up and down um, downtown, but I don't think everybody else gets that privilege that I have, and I hope that the trolley is able to bring that to everyone. Council members are asking at what cost can they extend the program into the future? We may love all of, all this in the budget right now, but I, but but we also know that we want public safety taken care of. We want our other uh, city staff members taken care of. The budget request for next year is huge, coming in at $749.5 million. Council thinks they can get that number down. I agree with with the mayor that there is there are pockets that we can cut. I think we can. There's more creativity within this budget uh, that we would like to see. Reevaluating some of the city services and how often they hire outside help. We contract with a lot of consultants throughout the year. Maybe we need to stop doing that. The mayor and council members asked the city manager to look at some of these areas to create solutions to keep taxes down. Well, I think there's a path forward that we can do it progressively, but not have to do it at such a rate that other things go lacking. And the city has to approve that budget by July 1st. Just a few weeks after that date, we'll see those trolleys rolling down the street and in action. But before that can happen, the city still needs to approve those routes, the scheduled times, and all of the details of how this project will work, especially after that first six months is done, because that's when the money runs out. Live in Greensboro, Sarah Winkleman, Fox 8 News.